combustion stoichiometry ideal gas model the gas species that makes up the working fluids in internal combustion engines something like oxygen nitrogen fuel vapor carbon dioxide water vapor etc can usually be treated and as an ideal gases so, the ideal gas law is pv is equal to mrt that means m by m into r by m into t that means nrt where p is the pressure v is the volume m is the mass of the gas r is the gas constant for the gas t the temperature r the universal gas constant that means 8314.3 joule per kilo mole per kilo mole kelvin m the molecular weight and and the number of moles in combustion oxygen is the reactive component of air it is usually sufficiently accurate to regard air as consisting of 21 percent oxygen and 79 percent inert gases taken as nitrogen often called atmospheric or apparent nitrogen for each mole of oxygen in air there are 3.773 moles of atmospheric nitrogen the molecular weight of air is 28.962 usually approximated by 29 because atmospheric nitrogen contains traces of other species its molecular weight is calculated to be 28.16 thus the value for the density of dry air at one atmosphere 1.0133 into 10 to the power 5 pascal and 25 degrees celsius is 1.184 kilogram per meter cube the fuels most commonly used in internal combustion engines gasoline or petrol and diesel fuels are blends of many different hydrocarbon compounds these fuels are predominantly carbon and hydrogen typically about 86 percent carbon and 14 percent hydrogen by weight though Diesel fuels can contain up to about 1% sulfur. Other fuels of interest are alcohols which contain oxygen, gaseous fuels like natural gas and liquid petroleum gas, and single hydrocarbon compounds like ethane, propane, isooctane, which are often used in engine research. By balancing the combustion reaction equation for a particular fuel, one can determine how much fuel and should be injected in order to completely burn both a stoichiometric mixture contains the exact amount of fuel and oxidizer such that after combustion is completed all the fuel and oxidizer are consumed to form products this ideal mixture approximately yields the maximum flame temperature as all the energy released from combustion is used to heat the products combustion stoichiometry for a general hydrocarbon fuel c alpha is beta o gamma with air can be expressed as C alpha is beta O gamma plus alpha plus beta by 4 minus gamma by 2 into oxygen plus 3.76 nitrogen plus alpha carbon dioxide plus beta by 2 H2O plus 3.76 alpha plus beta by 4 minus gamma by 2 nitrogen. The coefficients associated with each species in the above equation are unknown. By balancing the atomic abundance on both the reactant and product sides, one can find the coefficient for each species. These coefficients are called the reaction stoichiometric coefficient. The amount of air required for combusting a stoichiometric mixture is called stoichiometric or theoretical air. The above formula is for a single component fuel and cannot be applied for a fuel consisting of multiple components. There are two typical approaches for systems with multiple fuels. The first method develops the stoichiometry of combustion using the general principle of atomic balance, making sure that the total number of each type of atom, like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, is the same in the products and the reactants. This is the first method. The next one, or the other method of balancing a fuel mixture is to the first develop stoichiometry relations for each component individually then multiply the individual stoichiometry equations by the mole fractions of the fuel components and add them. In practice, fuels are often combusted with an amount of air different from the stoichiometric ratio. If less air than the stoichiometric amount is used, the mixture is described as fuel rich. If excess air is used, the mixture is described as fuel lean. 
The stoichiometric air fuel ratio AFRS or fuel air ratio FARS depends on fuel composition. The FAR that means fuel air ratio is given by F by A S is equal to A by F inverse that means MF by MA is equal to MF by alpha plus beta by 4 minus gamma by 2 into 4.76 into MA where MF and MA are the respective masses of the fuel and they are where MF and MA 28.84 kilogram per kilomole are the average masses per mole of fuel and air respectively. Most hydrocarbon fuels have a stoichiometric fuel air ratio FARS in the range of 0 0.05 to 0 0.07. That means the stoichiometric AFR air fuel ratio of gasoline is about 14.7. For most hydrocarbon fuels, 14 to 20 kg of air is needed for complete combustion of 1 kg of fuel. Normalizing the actual fuel air ratio by the stoichiometric fuel air ratio gives the equivalence ratio phi. So you can write phi is equal to lambda inverse, that means fuel air ratio actual divided by fuel air ratio stoichiometric. When phi is equal to 1, we can say it a stoichiometric mixture when phi is equal to less than one we can say it a lean mixture and phi is greater than one we can say it a rich mixture so there are three types of mixture lean mixture when less than one stoichiometric mixture when equal to one and rich mixture when greater than one so the amount of air in excess of the stoichiometric amount is called excess air ea the percent excess air percent is ea is defined as Percentage EA is equal to 100 into MA minus MAS divided by MAS is equal to 100 into MA by MAS minus 1.